Today we celebrate the class of 2020 at East Tennessee State University. Today we celebrate your accomplishments, your dreams, and the destinations that await you. We celebrate the family members, friends, and loved ones who have helped you make your dreams possible. We celebrate the faculty, the staff, the mentors who have guided the graduates on this journey. A journey of transformation. A journey to help improve the quality of life of others. A journey that at times taught resilience. Resilience in overcoming barriers. Adapting to change. Remaining focused on your goals. A journey that helped you to find what your purpose in life would be, who you would be, what your next steps would be. A journey that provides hope. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope to make the lives of others better. Hope to bring change to your communities. Hope to change the world. Because with your degree and with the power of higher education, anything is possible. To members of the class of 2020, congratulations. And let the pomp and circumstance begin. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh Say, does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Good morning. It is amazing being here today knowing that I am being joined by graduates and their families from literally all parts of the globe, all sharing a common bond of celebration. Amid the many kind words and well wishes you hear today, let me add the members of the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees to that chorus of congratulations. Commencement day at a university is like no other event in America. An ETSU commencement, in particular, is something so very special. It is a day when thousands converge to honor achievement, to strengthen bonds of friendship and kinship, and probably, most important of all, to express gratitude for the opportunities that have come together to culminate in your receiving of your degree. Remember this day, cherish it, embrace what it symbolizes. The education you have received here will shape your life and enrich your life beyond anything you could have predicted. The members of the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees are proud of you, your families, your friends, everyone who has had a part in your success. Wherever you go in life, Take the name of ETSU with you proudly. Thank you for making the choice to attend this great university and congratulations.
Today, we come together from across the state and across the world to celebrate both an ending and a beginning, the culmination of years of work by the students who are graduating today, and the promise for a better future because of their achievements. This ceremony also celebrates the efforts of family members and friends, as well as university faculty and staff who have been a part of the journey for the class of 2020. I welcome all of you to this milestone occasion as we confer the degrees that are symbolic of academic and personal achievement. Today, a total of 1,422 degrees will be conferred. Honors graduates receive medallions on special colored ribbons to note their distinction. Of the baccalaureate recipients, 131 have attained cum laude distinction for achieving a GPA of 3.50 to 3.64. 148 are magna cum laude with a GPA of 3.65 to 3.84. And 80 graduates attained summa cum laude, the highest honors with a GPA of 3.85 to 4.0. Of our summa cum laude graduates, seven have earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Earlier this week, one senior was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army during a special ceremony. Beyond the academic programs of study, this new lieutenant has pursued a very demanding program of leadership development and physical training which has prepared him to lead our nation's sons and daughters as an Army officer. We are extremely proud of res our Reserve Officers Training ROTC program here at ETSU and our cadets' commitment to service and leadership excellence. Graduating today, we have Azel Rodriguez Ramon, who has been commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Army Nurse Corps. Congratulations, Lieutenant Rodriguez Ramon. Hello, I'm Congressman Phil Rowe from the 1st Congressional District of Tennessee in Johnson City, your hometown. Dr. Nolan, uh, faculty, graduates, friends, and family, uh, it's great to be here. Who would have thought a year ago that we'd be having this graduation virtual? No one could have ever believed it. And what's happened in the last year really um, is a tribute to you and your faculty members who've had to change everything they're doing at the university to see that you get the quality education that you certainly want to, to, to be able to compete in the world today. I want to, to, to go back and reminisce just a little bit. Who would have thought one year ago that we'd be standing here doing this? And I too am a December graduate, uh, albeit 50 years ago, uh, December was my graduation month from medical school. I think you have incredible opportunities in front of you. And I want to just mention a, a quick story or two. Uh, when I was a medical student, uh, one of my hematology professors, Dr. Diggs, Lemuel Diggs, spent his entire life trying to cure sickle cell anemia, which is a, a disease, uh, an inherited disease that affects African Americans. And I can remember as a student and as a resident training in Memphis, sitting by the bedside doing exchange transfusions, taking the sickle blood out and replacing it with normal blood so that a pregnant mother could go through and successfully deliver her baby. What's happened with the research, it never happened during Dr. Diggs's lifetime, but during the research it's done in this country, we now can take a fragmented or an altered piece of HIV virus, attach the right DNA message to it, and cure that disease. That is incredible of what's happening. A disease that we didn't even know the name of um, turned out to be hepatitis C, a disease we didn't know the name of when I graduated from medical school, we now can cure in less than 12 weeks. And look what's happened with the pandemic. Uh, the quickest vaccine that's usually brought to uh, fruition is about eight years. It takes that long. In less than 10 months, we're gonna have a safe, effective vaccine that's 95% effective in curing this virus. So the outlook for you is good. 
And I would have said a year ago when you graduated from college or your, or your graduate program that there were ample jobs for you. This obviously has changed and, and uh, obviously we've worked from home with our PDAs, our computers. Uh, it's created a real challenge for you all. But I want to congratulate you and especially the folks there at the university who, and your families who stuck by you during this time. And I want to leave you with just a, a brief message. And that, uh, that 50 years of mine has gone by pretty fast since graduation from medical school. Um, and it's something that I not all, have not always done correctly myself. But I want to encourage you to put God first in your life. Put your family a close second in your life. Put your job, whatever it is, get one that you have a passion for, whether it's a social worker or a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer, whatever it is, work hard at your job. And lastly, strive to leave the world just a little bit better than you found it. If you do that, I can promise you, you'll look back 50 years later as I've done and say a job well done. So congratulations and Godspeed. Hello, I'm United States Senator Lamar Alexander. One thing we can say for sure, your graduation from East Tennessee State University is historic. Everyone's going to remember the graduating class and the year 2020. And while there are many disappointments, you'll remember how you dealt with it. My grandfather was a railroad engineer. He used to tell me, aim for the top, there's more room there. But I learned pretty quickly, you don't always get where you aim. And you're usually measured not by how you handle successes, but how you handle disappointments. So there's some disappointments in 2020, but there are also some successes in how you handled it. Both will be a measure of your future. The best thing is that you've gone to a wonderful university in the greatest country in the world. Congratulations on your historic graduation in 2020. On behalf of the more than 14,000 students and 2,600 faculty and staff who call East Tennessee State University home, it's my pleasure to bring greetings from the entire ETSU family, and I extend my congratulations to you, members of the class of 2020. Graduates, today is your day. Each of you entered our university full of hopes and dreams and aspirations, yet with some degree of trepidation about the journey that awaited you. Today begins another journey as you move from this place of educational exploration and personal development and move into the workforce or onto graduate school. Commencement is a time for renewal and reflection, a chance to look back at what has been and a time to envision the future. It's also a bittersweet moment when we acknowledge our pride in you and your accomplishments, but we also feel a loss knowing that you're moving on away from our classrooms, our residence halls, our research labs, and our fields of play. When you receive your degrees today, please take time to read the text on your diploma carefully, paying attention to the following phrase, on the recommendation of your faculty. Graduates, your degree is not a mere collection of credit hours. It's not a random reflection of job-related skills. Your degree is the embodiment of the academic spirit, and it is a covenant between you and the faculty in which they formally declare that you have achieved the learning foundations expected of a college graduate. Our faculty and staff have opened your mind to new ideas and philosophies that will serve you well as citizens of our social democracy. In the years to come, you will realize that they are the ones who have left marks on your consciousness that will never be forgotten. As you begin this next journey, I encourage you to take time to acknowledge our faculty and our staff for the role that they have played in shaping both your dreams and your future. Take a moment in the days to come to say thank you to them, but do it in a good old fashioned way, not through text or for a note, but through a real note, an honest to goodness thank you note. Take out a pen and a piece of paper and express to them your thanks. And I assure you that that expression of thanks and gratitude will mean more to the recipient than simple words can convey. I firmly believe in the power of joy, and I fear, feel that joy can be passed on by simply saying thank you. A thank you can be big or small, 
Say thank you to a person who held the door for you as you moved into a building. Say thank you to a person who made it possible for you to be at this institution, to a spouse or to a loved one for the sacrifices that they made to make your success possible. Just say thanks. The ceremony today is somewhat different from what you might have imagined when you began your journey here at ETSU. Your degree is being conferred today, but I also recognize that part of the commencement experience is being able to walk across the stage. I promise you that in May of 2021, you'll have the opportunity to do just that. And we will share more information with you soon regarding that opportunity and those spring commencement celebrations. While we live in a world that is overwhelmed by a sense of the unknown in terms of what the future holds, I hope that at least for the next few moments, you'll put away your phones and enjoy the joy of this moment. Enjoy the joy of dreams realized. Appreciate the joy of doing what at times seemed impossible. Cherish this moment and then say thank you to those who made it possible. East Tennessee State University was founded in 1911 for a singular purpose, to improve the quality of life for the people of our region. And for the past 106 years, we've remained committed to that mission. Graduates, you have spent the past four, or for some of you a few more years, as part of the distinctive community that embraces the tripartite mission of teaching, research, and service. You've participated in public service projects, You've volunteered in our local schools. You've built homes for families. You've raised money for those whose lives have been impacted by domestic violence. You've assisted in the fight against the opioid epidemic that is ravaging the Appalachian Highlands. You've cared for patients in clinical settings across the region, and you've helped fight the spread of COVID-19. In doing so, you've embraced our institutional mission to improve the quality of life for the people of our region. For more than 100 years, our faculty and staff have transformed the lives of both our students and the region as a whole. We have a proud tradition at East Tennessee State University of serving first-generation college students, and many of today's graduates are the first in their families to receive a college degree. I commend you on your achievement, and I look forward to recognizing you at our graduation ceremonies next May. It's my honor to introduce producer, director, and Emmy Award-winning actor, Timothy Busfield, who is with us today. Mr. Busfield was once a student here at East Tennessee State University, and it was on this campus that he pursued his love of theater. Hi, it's Tim Busfield. Go Bucs! Uh, to everybody at East Tennessee State I, and anybody leaving East Tennessee State, I am so proud of you. I had a tremendous time. I would not have the career I've had. I would not have some of my greatest friends, the best teachers. I had a phenomenal experience at East Tennessee State University and hooked up with my mentor and and my one acting coach, which was Bud Frank, um, who taught me everything, uh, really the basics uh, that I needed to move on. He taught me, let me observe as a director and Equus and I uh, auditioned for the part and I didn't get it um, of Alan Strang. And then he said he wanted me next to him because he didn't think I was going to be lasting long uh, in, at the amateur level. And he was right. It was pretty much just a couple of years later and I was in stripes and, and working as a professional actor and uh, the career was off and running. But and when I went to East Tennessee State University, I thought I was going to play baseball. I did not think I was going to be an actor, but my life changed right there um, when I realized I couldn't play baseball with those guys, but I could maybe act with some of the, the folks that were around. The actors we had were great, uh, but the experience uh, uh, for me uh, of coming together on that team that we created of actors that did community theater and and plays at East Tennessee State and coupled with Bud Frank and uh, some of the other instructors that were at East Tennessee State was a great experience for me. So for everybody at ETSU who's going to be graduating here, um, perspiration is more important than inspiration. 
as you go out into the professional world. So please don't not work hard. Uh, I think that's a double negative, don't not, but which of course I, I probably should have learned while I was at ETSU. But uh, I don't think you can succeed in life. There's no shortcuts. Uh, there are no, it's not who you know. Uh, you're going to have to work hard and you're, you're going to have to, to, to perspire uh, for the successes that you want. Uh, and the things that you want. Even if you just think you're going to be a dad and work a normal job, well, you're going to have to get up in the middle of the night and change a diaper and get that baby ready to nurse or, or feed. And that is the kind of perspiration, that extra effort uh, that it takes to be a good dad is the same extra effort it's going to take to be a good uh, uh, person in the workforce or teacher, actor, fireman. Um there's so much you can do if you're positive and you're happy uh, at work and you bring a great attitude and you make yourself indispensable, you can do anything you want. Uh, if you think that you can not be a team player and isolate yourself and not work hard, then you just won't succeed. Uh, but I commend all of you for uh, putting in the time at East Tennessee State. I think it's a fantastic thing. I'm always looking for bucks out there. And uh, when I run into one, I'm happy to sit down and, and chew the fat with them and possibly help them move along. Um, so uh, from myself to all of you at East Tennessee State University and all those graduates, uh, especially in this environment we're in, um, God bless you uh, and go Bucks. It's been a long, dark night And I've been waiting for the morning It's been a long, hard fight But I see a brand new
Congratulations. You have shown dedication and endurance. We are all so proud of you. May the accomplishments that have led you to this day inspire your pursuits for the future. Good luck and congratulations again. Congratulations. I know that you are so excited that this day is finally here. And while I'm certain that this journey hasn't looked anything like you expected it to, I hope that you don't focus on the differences that have occurred, especially the last few semesters. I hope that you focus on the difference that you're going to make in the lives of those you serve as you embark on this amazing career of nursing. Once again, congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of you. Greetings, everyone. I am Dr. Donna Frazier, faculty in the College of Nursing and MSN Program Director. And I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your accomplishments. One of my favorite quotes from Dr. Martin Luther King is this, faith is taking the first step even when you can't see the entire staircase. So as you take the first step in your next adventure, I want to wish you the best. Congratulations, graduates. You are now part of the most trusted profession in the world. Nurses are heroes. I'm so proud to call you colleagues and to welcome you as an alumni of ETSU. My advice to you is to always keep advocacy at the core of your profession. Always advocate for people who can't advocate for themselves. So many people enter the healthcare system alone without any families or friends to support them. They need your voice. Be their voice. Be their hero. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wanna say congratulations to all of the College of Nursing December graduates. We're all so very proud of you. I want to wish you well on all of your future endeavors. Please remember to keep in touch with us here at the College of Nursing as we would love to hear about your future successes. Congratulations and go Bucks. 2020 was designated the Year of the Nurse and Midwife by the World Health Organization. I'm sure that many deans and directors of nursing programs imagined that they would highlight this honor throughout the year with lectures and acknowledgments of nursing leaders widely and locally known. Those plans did not turn out the way we thought that they would. Instead, we all dealt with the pandemic, an event unlike any other event in our lives, and turned to our area practicing nurses and our students to recognize each of you in this year of the nurse. Your classroom, lab, and clinical experiences were altered, and we have yet to come out of this situation. You are to be commended. As we end this year and celebrate our December 2020 graduation, my gratitude and heartfelt congratulations are sent to you on behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Nursing. Each of you have persevered and committed yourself to meeting this virus head on as you take on new jobs and or new responsibilities to provide optimal health care to all. You have displayed resiliency and hope for a better tomorrow. I would like to stress to each of you that you will also need to take care of yourself in the days ahead. You are not immortal. Holly and Tret Y in the October issue of The American Nurse discuss the energy model to ward against clinical and personal burnout. E stands for energy source, composed of a balanced diet, exercise, adequate sleep, collaborative teamwork, and a supportive social network. Don't lose sight of these as you keep your energy levels charged and recharged at appropriate levels. N stands for nurturing kindness. Never lose sight of the need to be caring, empathetic, civil, respectful, and compassionate. Stress affects each of these and continue to be mindful of the need to nurture kindness. E stands for emotional hygiene. 
valuing yourself, expressing gratitude, being mindful, and striving for a work-life balance will enable you to maintain strong emotional hygiene. R stands for refocusing your purpose. Find meaning in what you do. Reconnect and refocus when needed, and remember your passion and why you became a nurse. G stands for germinating positivity. Listing what you are grateful for each day, focusing on the positive instead of the negative, being appreciative when needed, and always looking to improve yourself will allow you to be a positive person even at the low times. Finally, Y stands for your uniqueness. Being self-aware, knowing your strengths and areas for improvement, setting realistic goals, and tapping into your inner power will help you to be the best individual and nurse. Being conscious of the need for self-care in all the above areas will give you well-being. During this pandemic, this need is so important that well-being has become an initiative for many health professional organizations, such as the American Nurses Association. Thank you for your passion and dedication to becoming a professional registered nurse, an advanced practice registered nurse, a nurse educator, a nurse administrator, or a nurse scientist. You are needed wherever you go, and you will make a difference. You are our hope for the future of excellent nursing care. You are an ETSU nurse. Congratulations, you make me so proud. As is tradition at ETSU, the first degrees conferred today will be to those students who have successfully completed doctorate, education specialist, or master's degrees. You have invested in one of ETSU's core values, and that is a commitment to intellectual achievement. Your time as a graduate student has and will continue to change your life and the lives of your families. Beyond the individual, graduate education contributes to the greater public good. What you have learned as a graduate student will support teaching, research, and advanced practice in the broad disciplines of humanities and arts, social and natural sciences, business and technology, education and healthcare. People outside higher education may wonder about the value of research and scholarship, and maybe you've had to explain to your family and friends what your graduate research has been about. The scholarly and research enterprise involves many small steps where we develop new knowledge and apply it to different situations and variables. We build on past work and pave the way for further advancement and application. As you leave ETSU, we are relying on you to take what you've learned here and pave the way for a brighter future. Our beloved Appalachian Highlands, our state, nation, and world face unprecedented challenges. Some of you will be taking on cybersecurity and environmental threats, mental, physical, and public health issues, social justice and criminal justice, economic recovery, and educational success. Some will focus on basic and applied science research, while others will address athletic performance or government management. Others of you will enrich our collective human experience with music, poetry, and art. The last nine months have taught all of us that we can do the hard things. It has taught us that we are resilient. With your graduate degree and with this sense of being able to do the hard things, you will become the leaders we need, poised to face the challenges and solve the problems of a rapidly changing world where we need smart, capable, engaged citizens with advanced skills. Over two decades ago, I graduated from ETSU with my master's degree and left to pursue a PhD. Two years ago, I was fortunate to return home to these mountains and this university because I wanted to support and advance graduate education at ETSU. I'm proud of my ETSU graduate degree, as I know you will be. On behalf of the graduate school staff and the entire graduate faculty, I send you heartfelt congratulations and wish you great success in all that you do in the future. Keep in touch and change the world. Go Bucks! 
At this time, I want to recognize for the conferring of the degree the candidates for the doctoral degree. President Nolan, these candidates have completed all requirements for the doctoral degree they are about to receive. On behalf of the graduate faculty, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the doctorate degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. The College of Nursing, the Doctor of Nursing Practice, and Doctor of Philosophy degrees. Cassie J. Barnes, Andrea Sykes Pointer, Linda Catherine Simpson, Kylie Real Whitehead. At this time, I will recognize for the conferring of the degree the candidates for the master's degree. President Nolan, these candidates have completed all requirements for master's degrees in the College of Graduate and Continuing Studies. On behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you're entitled with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Master's Degrees Tiffany Danielle Abel Alexander Keith Anderson Amy Bean Lacey Nicole Beeler Megan Lynn Boatman Kimberly Nicole Boone Mariah Whitney Bowman Sasha Aaron Bravo Cecile Brown Davis Karen Judith Castellon Tina Michelle Price Chapman Carol Ann Morrison Church Tracy Lee Combs May Pauline Kretzinger John Lawrence DeMattis Bethel Sebsebe Duffin Amanda Lee Eggers Miranda Nicole Elliott Amy Marie Arichetti Tiffany Marlene Estep Jordan Danielle Evans Brittany Herndon Flannery Jennifer Lynn Gary Teresa Rose George Jedediah Allen Gilliam Joy Nicole Gray Megan Joe Griffith Hannah Meredith Gump Brooke Lorraine Hamby Ashley Michelle Harrod Carrie Lynn Hasty Witt Kelly Stevens Henderson Stephen Hunt Taylor N. Huth Caitlin Elizabeth Skates Sarah Catherine Johnson Sarah Elizabeth Johnson Nancy Ann LaGuardia Devon Bree Langley Lee Leeper 
Lisa Marie Grace Levasseur. Diana Marie Lewis. Laura Long. Jody Lee Mabry. Ashley Beck Machia. Jordan Alexis McCarthy. Crystal Amber Dawn McCullough. Dana Marie Mead. Grace Christine Metzger. Malia Ruth Brown Miller. Whitney Moody. Stephen Morgan. Paul William Mosteller. Kinsey Rebecca Nance. A. Suzanne Norwood. Baba Jide Ogunyombo. Heather Paplo. Maria Pia Panozo. Caroline Ray Perry. Lois M. Pittman. Tiffany Michelle Poss. John Pound. Melanie Browning Preston. Kaylin Ashley Reed. Julia Holly Sale. Brittany Nicole San Miguel. Natalie Scott. Carissa Ann Shepherd. Kristen Coley Smith. Mary Taylor Spencer Edwards. Ashley Brooke Thetford. Kelsey Elizabeth Thomas. Brandy Nicole Thompson. Eulala Samantha Vanover. Holly Henson Watson. Sarah E. Wilson. Daryl Young. Harold Wayne Young. At this time, I will recognize for the conferring of the degree, the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. President Nolan, these candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree in their respective colleges. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me, by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Baccalaureate degrees. Fadila Mushba Abedo. Shelby Ann Adams. Sarah Ashley Allison. Lindsay Nicole Altman. Kelly Anderson. Ghazal Ansari. Terry Lewis Armstrong, Jr. Lakin F. Ashley. Hannah Lee Octorloni. Marilyn Jenny Bailey. Caitlin Campbell Banks. Charlie Ann Bear. Darian Gail Barger. Sarah L. Barger. Olivia K. Barnes. Brittany Nicole Bible. Colton David Walker Birchfield. Gavin Chase Bishop. 
Ashlyn M. Black. Shelby H. Blair. Diane Houseman Blankenship. Kelsey A. Blankenship. Jordan Nicole Bledsoe. Randy Lynn Bledsoe Weatherford. Deanne Leonia Bolton. Emery Page Boone. Catherine Bostian. Ethan Bowman. Megan Elaine Boyenton. Kimberly Yvette Rivers Boyer. Eve Marie Jean Bradford. Ashton N. Bradley. Jessica Renee Bradley. Haley Danielle Breeden. Heather Danielle Brooks. Teresa Brooks. Whitney Ann Brooks. Lauren Elizabeth Burkett. Kenyetta Lavon Burney. Julianne Marie Burton. Allie Page Cameron. Haley Noel Caps. Tyler R. Carr. Alexandra Grace Carroll. Brett Allen Carter. Kaylin Carter. Olivia Nicole Carty. Grayson Wayne Castle. Zoe Arika Chan. Haley Ashton Charlton. Kayla Nicole Chupp. Rachel Amoret Claremont. Cassidy Aaron Clinton. Grayson Thomas Coldwell. Juanita Sharon Cheyenne Collins. Megan Conley. Lisa F. Copeland. Emily Kate Costner. Amelia Cox. Sydney Lynette Cox. Lacey Brooke Crabtree. Shayla Brooke Crawford. Kimberly Daniel. Mary Ashley Darrow. Kara Kathleen Davidson. Chutney Soraya Davis. Mackenzie B. Davis. Abigail Faith Dawson. Sabra Diane Lee DeBoard. Yutagesu Befekadu Desis. Kaylee E. Dingus. Claire Donnelly. Luke Aaron Dorton. Shaley S. Douglas. Jacqueline Louise Driver. Victoria Duffy. Patrick Seth Duncan. Raquel Patrice Duncan. Tiana L. Duncan. Courtney Brooke Estep. Hannah Lee Eccles. Roberta Elaine Edwards. Ronald Dwight Edwards. Mark R. Edson. 
Cola, Mikkel, Ellis, Uwaifo. Ashley, Elizabeth Ellswick. Nicole Esslinger. Laura Ashley Estep. Regina Antoinette Evans Truss. Akudo Ezeukwu. Tara Ray Lynn Faulkner. Sarah Elizabeth Finkel. Laura Nicole Fitzgerald. Sabrina Lynn Fleming. Andrew Thomas Flint. Hayden Alexandra Ford. Cassie Hunter Foster. Logan Todd Fox. Cherish De Love Franklin. Lauren Marie Franklin. Kate Marie Gailey. Adrian Levon Gardenhire. Allie Yates Gardner. Seth Chandler Garland. Victoria K. Garland. Savannah Kathleen Gentry. Maureen Elizabeth Gibson. Sharon A. Gibson. Tori Sierra Gilliam. Haley Brooke Godsey. Ashley S. Goldsmith. Christina Clarissa Gray. Tessa Maud Green. Hannah Leanne Gregory. Jordan Cheyenne Grindstaff. Jessica Guess. Amanda Brooke Gwynn. Heather J. Hogg. Patrick Ryan Haddock. Haley Amelia Hampton. Sarah Crin Hampton. Raina Timberly Hannon. Sierra Page Hansen. Madison Ann Harbarth. Sarah Suzanne Hardin. Abigail Geneva Harrison. Stacy Lynn Hart. Lauren Alexandra Harvey. Taylor Nicole Hayes. Emily Holland Helfrich. Emily Nash Hensley. Marissa Leanne Hensley. Josie E. Henson. Morgan Faith Henson. Madison Mackenzie Herbert. Luke Evan Hicks. Corinne Victoria Hill. Peter Zachary Hoyleman. Holly Hughes Honeycutt. Christy A. Housley. Amber Jade Hubbard. Ashley Eugenia Hummel. Lore Ingabire. Andrea L. Jackson. Danette Jackson. Emily Brooke Jackson. Takoya Lee James. Erica T. Jarrett. Imani Larray Jenkins. Laura Elizabeth Johnson. 
Sonia L. Johnson, Brianna Morgan Jones, Candace Avery Jones, Carlisha Jones, Sydney Rochelle Jones, Taylor Lynn Kelly, Madison Nicole Kenton, Lee Cullen Kidd, Nicholas Bradley Killen, Joshua Kingry, Megan R. Kincaid, Nicole Drake Kirkland, Selah Colleen Knight, Anna Catherine Jean Cusera, Jennifer Jewel Kuntz, Scott Christopher Laffey, Parker Elise Laster, Ashton K. Lawson, Caitlin Brooke Lay, Virginia Caroline Lehman, Charity Grace Lester, Morgan Amber Llewellyn, Mackenzie Shea Liedel, Alexis Nicole Lips, Allison Brooke Littleton, Hannah Marie Lockhart, Emily B. Logan, Autumn L. Loggins, Haley Madison Loans, Salud Cortez Lopez, Alyssa Claire Loveless, Caitlin Carol Loveless, Fatimatu Lee, Courtney Rose Lyon, Tyra Cameron Marek, Katie Marlowe, Kelsey Leanne Marshall, Karen Lane Martin, Brandon Derek Martinez, Kayla Maeve Massey, Donna Romero Mathis, Kaylee M. Mawney, Melissa Yvonne McCormick, Christy Rikita McCroby, Ashley Amber McIntosh, Jennifer Miken, Michaela Devon Minga, Casey Renee Moore, Diamond Paige Moses, Elizabeth Mulet, Geraldine Munoz, Joseph Connor Neal, Jody Caps Neal, Faith Nicole Nixon, Kaylee Jean No, Emily Noel, Amber Brooke Norman, Rivers Strickland Normant, Kelsey Brooke Nunley, Haley Oden, Marianne Onye Dikachi Ofo Egbu, Caitlin Page Parnell, Savannah Inez Parson. Hetal Bipinchandra Patel, Donasha Antoinette Patrick, Heather Lynn Peace, Elizabeth Page Peltier, Kennedy K. Peltier, 
Bobby Jean Pendleton. Shatika Michelle Phillips. Amber Brooke Pickle. Andrea Brooke Pingston. Ross Alexander Pixley. Skylar Pollock. Claire Marie Porter. Adam S. Potter. Heather Danielle Potts. Madison Shipley Powers. Taylor I. Powers. Monica Lynn Prater. Elizabeth Ann Quintero. Jessica Marie Rainwater. Kylie Jennifer Rakestraw. Reagan Blake Reese. Laura Grace Relford. Christopher J. Richardson. James B. Riggs. Amber R. Rigsby. Lindsay Rourick. Mary Elizabeth Roberts. Morgan Elizabeth Marie Rochelle. Tierra Liamara Rodriguez. Azael de Jesus Rodriguez Roman. Jennifer Leanne Rowe. Mary Magdalene Ruff. Haley Nicole Russell. Kayla Michelle Sadler. Dustin Andrew Sams. Mary Shelby Sanderson. Micaiah Irene Scott. Nathan Samuel Shelton. Caitlin Emily Skull. Jackson Lee Slater. Chelsea Leanne Sleeper. Abigail Lee Smith. Benjamin Michael Smith. Christian Amashia Smith. Dylan Anthony Smith. Kyla Marie Smith. Mary Suzanne Smith. Michelle Lynn Smith. Peyton Michelle Staggs. Emily Hyder Stanley. Lisa Diane Stevens. Peyton Hunter Stevens. Valerin Felicia Stewart. Allie Brooke Stidham. Jessica Renee Stipes. David Anthony Streeter, Jr. Brianna Lee Nicole Stiles. Nicole Brooke Sukert. Andrew Brian Taylor. Michael Richard Taylor. Leslie Tibalt. Kimberly D. Terrett. Katie Jane Thacker. Chandra Dale Thompson. Justin Lee Thrasher. Kayla Teague. Tristan Sage Till. Caitlin Elizabeth Tittle. Mariela Torres. Alexis Shanae Trammell. Kelly T. Treadway. Mackenzie Grace Turner. 
Jaden Camille Underwood. Jennifer Lynn Valdez. Glennis Jonelle Varner. Sheila Nicole Vaughn. Allison Grace Walden. Ashley Shay Wallace. Heather Watkins. Christy Marie Watterson. Hannah Aaron Wells. Brooke Sierra Whitehead. Reagan Leanne Whitmore. Kelsey Tierra Wilcox. Taylor Page Will. Michaela Christine Willard. Kendall Christiana Williams. Madison Brianna Williams. Katie A. Willis. Andre Diaz Wilson. Essie J. Wilson. Jeffrey Dale Wilson. Haley Elizabeth Woods. Amanda Louise Worley. Hannah Faith Wright. Hannah Wright. Radir Yasin. Tawny Louise Yelly. Kayla Renee Young. Emily Brooke Yao. Jilong Jiao. To everyone who is participating in today's commencement ceremony, I invite you to join me in congratulating the members of the class of 2020. Graduates, I have a message for each of you that you will receive in your email later today. While I wish that I had the opportunity to shake the hands of each of you today, I instead hope that you will enjoy a personal message from me, a message of thanks, a message of appreciation, and a message of congratulations. For our graduates who are wearing your commencement regalia, I invite you as a symbol of completion to please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your mortarboard. Graduates, before we bring today's ceremony to a close, I want to thank you for all that you have done throughout the course of 2020 to keep one another safe. You've gone above and beyond my expectations to be good neighbors, to keep each other safe, and to embody the values of this university. It's the holiday season, and as the holidays are upon us, I hope whatever you wish for in this holiday season that it comes true. But I wish and pray that as we bring this year to a close and transition to 2021, that we have the opportunity to come together soon as an ETSU family to celebrate your accomplishments and the accomplishments of everyone who has moved on from this institution over the course of the past year. So from my family to yours, happy holidays. From the ETSU family to families all across the globe, congratulations on your accomplishments. Graduates, Godspeed to each of you and go box. Speed it on.
Thank you to my friends and family for your support, especially to my sons. This one's for you, boys. I'm so happy to be part of Class 2020. I'm ready for my next step. I'm going to thank my husband for supporting me during all this time. Thank you. I want to say all oh, thanks to God. Oh, thanks to my family, my friends, my professors, everyone around me. Thank you so much. First of all, I'd like to thank God Almighty for his love and blessing towards me. I'd like to thank my family and friends for the support and encouragement throughout my journey at ETS. Hello, this is Dr. Mimi Perot in Media and Communication, wishing you all a happy graduation. I'm so proud of you. You've done so much this, this semester and adjusted so well. Um, go out and get them. Godspeed and go Bucks. From the Department of Housing and Residence Life, we congratulate our fall 2020 graduates and especially our residents. Great job, best of luck. To all the fall graduates of 2020, congratulations. Uh, and to my colleagues graduating from the physical therapy program, well done. All of your hard work over the past three years has paid off and you are all now doctors of physical therapy. Good luck on your board exam next month. And I look forward to seeing you progress as people and therapists during your career. Wishing you all the best on your new roles. Hey, graduates. We just want to congratulate you on all the hard work you've done. We know you've worked hard and put in all your best efforts. We talk about you all the time about all the good work you do and how much we love our students. And we love to see all the great things that they do once they get out. So congratulations and enjoy your day. And we'll see you around as you go on to your future careers and education. Congratulations, ETSU class of 2020. Reaching this significant milestone, especially amidst these unprecedented and challenging times, is testament to your tenacity, resourcefulness, and resilience. These qualities will serve you well in the next stages of your professional, creative, and scholarly journeys. Thank you to my friends, my family, to my children who are my motivation, and thank you to ETSU for this opportunity to receive my BSN. Congratulations, class of 2020. Unfortunately, I cannot make a funny video for y'all because this video can only be 10 seconds, so congrats to the nursing uh, class of 2020, and thanks, mom and dad. We did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of the 100,000 ETSU alumni, welcome to the family. We are so happy for you. Best wishes and go Bucks. I just wanted to say thank you to my family, my mom, dad, Ethan, my sweet Marcus, and my two precious cats. Congrats, everyone. Congratulations to all of the members of ETSU's fraternities and sororities who are graduating this December. We are so proud of all of the hard work you've put in, and we wish you the best moving forward. Go Bucks! Celebrate good times, come on! Oh, I just showed my age. It took me a little longer, but hey, I graduated. I just want to say thank you to my wife, Sonia, for her continued love and support. I would have never made it to this point without her. We did it. I would like to thank my wife, my two boys, Leo and Ari, and my mom and dad for the support through this journey. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woo! Hi, I'd like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me through everything that I do through school. I love you guys. Thanks. We did it. We did it, Mom. I'm going to be a graduate of East Tennessee State University. I did it, Mom. <laughs> she graduated. No cap. Congratulations to all the graduates from the Department of Curriculum and Instruction. You survived an unprecedented semester, and we wish you well. My name is Miranda Honeycutt. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Psychology, a minor in Public Health, and all I can say is Corona sucks, and go Bucks! I want to thank my friends and family for supporting me in my journey on receiving my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Thank you. From the ETSU Department of Music family, we congratulate you on this tremendous milestone. Please remember that you are always a part of our family, and we look forward to hearing about your future accomplishments. Congratulations and go Bucks! I would like to thank my family, my friends, and most of all God for allowing me to receive my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Woohoo! I 
just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that supported me this far and congratulations class of 2020. Congratulations, East Tennessee State University Nursing Scholars. It has been such a privilege and a pleasure to work with you on your journey. Congratulations are in order. We expect great things from you. You are the next great thought leaders of our profession. I just want to thank my family for helping me get to this point. Godspeed and go Bucks. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be here and thank you so much to everyone who helped me along this journey to get to this point. I am so grateful, it truly takes a village. Go Bucks!